Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I'll be going over the C Vixen FAW2 British Premium Rank 5 Fighter, again for the British Tech Tree. And please don't get on me for it being British. I did say British because it does say that specifically in the dev blog. Either way, this is a really big deal. One, because a lot of people have wanted the Sea Vixen for a long, long time. I mean, look at this thing. It is a beautiful plane. I think that Gaijin has done a great job modeling it in game because this thing just looks great. But secondly, because this is a premium plane and a lot of people were not expecting this, especially when, uh, when the European Canadian did actually kind of release a leak on this not so much a leak, but he released news on it a few days ago, um, albeit at that point we didn't really know the details of it outside of its technical specifications because that's been available since the 1950s. Um, but that being said, please like, comment, subscribe. Subscribing really means the absolute world to me, uh, especially being that I will be coming out with guides and all that on a regular basis. That's kind of my thing, coming out with guides, going to be doing gameplay. But, um, so the again, the C Vixen FAW2 is a British rank 5 premium, has loads of weapons like Red Top and Fire Streak air-to-air -air missiles, SNEP rockets, bombs, so you can have four or five hundred pound bombs or two one thousand pound bombs, which is pretty typical of uh, British planes around this, I guess you could say, era, and up to two, actually this is more interesting, two AGM 12B bull pups which is something that I was not expecting. I mean, it makes sense because that's what they had in real life. But uh, at the same token, well, I guess I was expecting it, but at the same token, it's pretty interesting. More interestingly, however, it has no MGs or cannons and will be limited to using only the aforementioned weaponry in dogfights, meaning that you will have to use fire streak or red top missiles in dogfights. You have nothing else to damage or destroy enemy planes nor will you have guns to actually go after soft ground targets. This plane also has no afterburners and a top speed of around 1,000 kilometers per hour at sea level, but it did have a speed of over 1,100 kilometers per hour at altitude. Now, I'm assuming that with the previously mentioned information about this plane, it'll likely sit at around 9.0 or 9.3 BR. It's difficult to say, but this will not be where, for example, the, the Hunter FGA-9 is, uh, but also won't be as low as where the Swift F1 is, which sits at 8.3, or even where the Swift F7 is, which is 8.7 with two fire streak missiles. Now, this is such a difficult plane to place exactly where it will be because it has no guns. Um, and it also has this kind of this weird assortment of weapons. I mean, what do you give a, uh, a vehicle that only has access, really, in, in self-defense to air-to-air -air missiles? So this is fairly new territory for War Thunder, at least as far as I know or remember. Uh, so I feel that 9.0 or 9.3 will be fairly accurate, but it could be at even 8.7. I mean, it's just difficult to say. I'd be kind of surprised if it was 9.7 or 8.3. I mean, really surprised. Now, more importantly, again, as mentioned before, this is a premium and the first C Vixen coming to game, or at least the first one that's been announced. The FAW-1, as you could imagine, did exist, but I believe that these are the only two variants to ever exist of this vehicle. Oddly, the FAW-2, which is the upgraded version of this plane, is the premium version, whereas Gaijin has had actually some sort of history of making the premium variant for sale an earlier version of the vehicle, such as the Harrier GR-1 as a premium and the GR-3 as the regular tech tree vehicle. Now, additionally, it does not seem that this will be a premium pack, which I also find interesting. I don't really know exactly what the merits are of this being a premium. Uh, Gaijin has been announcing premiums first and foremost for whatever reason about this patch. Uh, but this is definitely a plane that a lot of people have wanted just because it fits this relatively unique role. I mean, you'd think it's it's uh, more of a fighter, but it also doesn't have that afterburners it'll probably be sitting somewhere give or take around 9.0 br so it'll be one of the slower planes around that br uh just because it or slower accelerating planes i mean to say just because it doesn't have afterburners nor is it really as much of a clean profile as let's say the uh, f86 saber a mig 17 uh, what have you so this will be a very very interesting plane to add to game and i think that the faw1 will be the regular tech tree variant likely sitting at 0.3 or 0.4 BR lower than what this is, depending on where, 
Of course, the FAW2 ends up being on the BR uh, level. But just let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I find that this is a really, really interesting addition to the game. I mean, again, it's a beautiful plane, and I'm excited to see more uh, British, again, don't hate me for saying British, more British naval planes being added to game. And I think that this could also be an indication that sooner or later, I mean, maybe they're loading up on, on naval planes. Maybe this is just the natural progression of War Thunder. I don't know. But they may be loading up on naval planes because, hey, we might be getting, eh, okay, maybe not aircraft carriers soon, not player controlled, but they might be integrating more at least NPC or AI aircraft carriers into the game, at least in future missions. So either way, again, tell me what you guys think. I'm really interested to hear it. Please, again, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, either way, thanks so much for watching, everyone. And as always, I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.